My name's Mark Burnell and I'm here today to help explain about caring for your horse's teeth and also about, also about fitting bits and making sure that the bridles fit. We have Lucy helping me out here today. If you're not sure what size bit your horse needs, one of the tricks you can do is to use a stick to measure the width of the horse's mouth from cheek to cheek where the bit would go where my two fingers are either side of its face. Some Horseland stores actually have <laughs> bit measuring devices that you can take. And most horses are quite happy to put sticks in their mouth. <laughs> but stand to one side, put your nose on top, your fingers on top of uh, Lucy's nose. Make a mark on your stick so you know how, uh, how wide the horse's mouth is. So here we'll just uh, make an indentation, okay. So I'm going to measure from this mark here across Lucy's face, steady girl. And I'm going to sit the stick approximately where a bit would go. So if we look to the other side and just make a mark, <laughs> she wants to eat the stick. Okay, good girl Lucy. Lucy's mouth is that wide. So we need to find a bit that when held up against this stick and the two marks made by my thumb, <laughs> that that fits within that distance. We don't want it too narrow and we don't want it too wide. Here we have a bridle with a bit in it. This is an egg butt snaffle that we're going to put on Lucy. And you can see by the marks on the stick that this bit fairly approximately is exactly the distance between the two marks on the stick. So with a lot of confidence, this bit should fit Lucy fairly well. I've been a professional horse dentist for the last 26 years. I, I love what I do. I've been very lucky to travel a lot of the world and visit with other professional horse dentists. We do care about the welfare of horses and their well-being, and being able to communicate with the owners what they expect and want out of their horse is very, very important. The main thing to look for is to ask if your dentist is accredited and insured. And remember, there are other professionals that you can get second opinions from. If anyone is to sedate your horse, they should be a registered veterinarian. Good luck with your horses and hope you enjoy them.